This is the new BMW 7 Series. Well, I say new, it's actually just a heavily revised version of the current car. And here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about it. You can't talk about the 7 Series without talking about that grille, which gives it the buck teeth of a grinning beaver. Around the sides, the shiny chrome air breathers look like cufflinks. While at the rear, you'll see a new bumper, slimmer tail lights, and exhaust pipes big enough to go caving in. The idea is to bring the 7 Series in line with the flagship BMW X7 SUV, but who wins the battle for luxury car looks? Click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which you think looks the best. The new 7 Series, the ADA8, the Mercedes S-Class or the Lexus LS. The new BMW 7 Series comes with an 8-speed automatic gearbox as standard and you can choose from 6, 8 and 12-cylinder engines with rear or four-wheel drive. The 265 horsepower 730D diesel kicks off the range and returns fuel economy, apparently according to BMW, of 44 miles per gallon, while the 320 horsepower 740D is only slightly thirstier and a second quicker to 60, taking 5.3 seconds, so it's pretty rapid. Petrol versions include the 340 horsepower 740i straight 6 and a 530 horsepower 750i xDrive V8, but the 760 Li V12 sits at the top of the tree. With 850 newton meters of torque, launch control, and four-wheel drive, it rockets you from 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds. Although with only 585 horsepower, it actually has 24 horses less than the old model. The BMW 7 Series interior reveals a sensory deprivation tank for insulation. You don't just get a laminated windscreen, you get laminated windows all round and they're all made from 5mm thick glass. The rear wheel arches have also been given acoustic shielding to stamp out tyre noise, while BMW engineers have been on a mission stuffing sound deadening in and around the B-pillars, rear seat belts and rear seat backrests, all to achieve library-like silence. The new BMW 7 Series starts from £69,000 for a two-wheel drive 730D. That's five grand less than a basic Mercedes S-Class, while the 745E hybrid model comes in at £77,000. The 585 V12 M760 Li, meanwhile, costs quite a lot more. Yeah, it'll set you back almost 140 grand, and that's before options. To see how much you can save on a new car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to get a car wow, where you can save an average of £3,600 without having to haggle. There's also a link below the video that'll take you there or just Google car wow deals. If you want to turn the back seats of the new 7 Series into a cinema, you'll need the Backseat Entertainment System, which gets you two 10-inch full HD screens that you can use to access the car's navigation, entertainment, and online functions. And of course, you can watch movies on them. You can also get something called BMW Touch Command. This is a removable 7-inch tablet which is stored between the two back seats, and it allows you to control things such as your seat recliner, the footrest, the massage function, and even the sunroof, all from the tablet. If you're buying your 7 Series to be driven in rather than to drive yourself, get the long wheelbase version, which you can have with any engine combination. It has 3,210 millimeters between its front and rear wheels, which is 140 millimeters more than you get in the standard car. That gives you huge rear doors for easy access and a heap more legroom so you can really stretch out on long journeys. If you want to run a luxury saloon that doesn't make you feel like you're slapping Mother Nature in the face every time you turn it on, you'll want the BMW 740e plug-in hybrid. It has a combination of a six-cylinder petrol engine and an electric motor, and has 394 horsepower combined. As a result, the 745e gets from 0 to 60 in just 5.3 seconds, and should return a fuel economy, according to BMW, of up to 135 miles per gallon. Oh, and because its emissions are so low, it's exempt from paying tariffs such as the London congestion charge. It might be time to send the show for packing because the new BMW 7 Series can drive itself on the motorway and in queues of traffic. You can even park it by remote control using the key fob. New for this model is the reversing assistant, which makes driving backwards on tight streets or car parks easy. At speeds of up to 22 miles an hour, the car records your exact steering movements and if you end up in a Mexican standoff with another driver, you can retrace your steps for up to 50 meters autonomously in reverse. The BMW 7 Series comes with computing power that makes a space station look basic. As standard, you get a 12-inch digital instrument binnacle and a 10-inch infotainment screen with satellite navigation that can route around congestion and also find your parking space as you close in on your destination. Meanwhile, the intelligent personal assistant responds to commands like, Hey BMW, I'm cold, by turning up the heater. Naturally, it can control everything from the massage seats to the in-car fragrance dispenser, which is handy if your VIP has accidentally let one go.
If you're a windy VIP that likes to drive themselves, then the 7 Series could be the car for you. Its standard wafty air suspension comes with adjustable dampers that you can stiffen to stop the car listing like a massive cruise liner when you go around a corner. On top of that, you can have something called active steering. This turns the rear wheels in the same direction as the front when you're going at high speed to make the car feel more stable. However, when you're going slowly, it turns the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the front to make the car more maneuverable, a little bit like a forklift truck. If you enjoyed this video please click on our logo to subscribe to this channel or to watch more content on the bottom right hand corner however if you want to save money on a car click on the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save a car wow